Michael with another recording using Camp Studio for an open source screen recorder, having quite a bit of success with it today. Um, we'll have a look at web feeds. Uh, web feeds are quite a useful tool for keeping track of information as uh, it's being updated on different websites and, uh, ex and web services, etc. Um, and I use a web based uh, newsreader called bloglines.com for keeping track of information that's coming in. So for example, EDC, there are a couple of people who are blogging in EDC, so I keep track if they're updating their blog. Um, I keep track of anyone who's updating information on issues relating to education in Australia and New Zealand, and there's quite a long list of people there. And I also keep track of people who are updating information on an international perspective to education, and there's another long list there. And then I keep track of family and friends and, um, the, you know, certain inspirational things, music and things like that. Now the things, where it's bold and it has a number, it tells me how many unread items I have listed in there. Uh, so it's a little bit like an email account in that when a website is updated, this blog lines gives me a, an update and tells me how many unread items in there there are. So how do I do it? Off to, let's for example, subscribe to my work blog. So this is my work blog. It's just a, a bit like a uh, journal, everything I'm doing at work. Now if I wanted to subscribe to this, the quick way is from blog lines, I've added a little button up in my quick links for subscribe, and I just click that. It takes me off to blog lines, and it gives me how many feeds there are available here. Now if I check the box here, that will say that I want this feed all of this sort of display displays differently and I haven't really taken the time to understand it but usually what it is is just how many feed files there are available from the website it's not anything I had to set up in my work blog it's just automatically there and then I put it into a folder that I want so I have an EDC folder my work blog related to EDC and then I could give it notes and set it to private or public etc like that then I hit subscribe after that it will take me back to my um, newsreader and here it is displaying under my folder EDC and seeing I've just added it has nine unread items so if I click it it will display all of those nine unread items down in here okay now you don't have to, have to you can uh, there are more websites that you can subscribe to than blogs anything that produces an RSS feed so for example in my social bookmarking service I use Delicious and just recently I, um, I'll just go to my bookmarks homepage. just recently I'd been saving quite a few ta um, uh, resources for midwifery and I was using a unique tag for categorizing those resources Tecatago midwifery so if I click that tag that will list all of my bookmarks that I've saved with that category and let's say somebody in midwifery wanted to subscribe to the resources that I'm saving there or better still if they didn't want to just subscribe to my Tecatago midwifery tags but everyone's so that means everyone who's agreeing to tag resources Tecatago midwifery if they want to subscribe to this page tag Tecatago midwifery then you go to the bottom and you look for something like this an RSS or a XML button or web feed link and I'll just right click that and copy link location and then I go back off to my blog lines and here I have a button called add and I'll drop that in there and subscribe and put it in, I'll just put it in EDC for now and subscribe and there they are, there are three links loaded to the delicious tag Tecotago midwifery and so that if I had say five to ten people or if not more people collaboratively building a resource list agreeing to use the tag Tecatago Midwifery then I don't have to remember to go to that delicious site to find what's been added all I need to do is subscribe to it and in my newsreader which is kind of like an email account I'll get alerts whenever there's something added so that's a quick look at uh, web feeds you can subscribe to photo albums, video journals, blogs, news websites, weather forecasts, all sorts of things so it's a pretty good way to um, manage information that's coming in. Another benefit I've used it too is if I come across a website that is likely to produce a resource that I'm going to need. So it might be a new website about 
video, for example. At the moment it doesn't have the resources that I'm looking for, but I'd say in the future it will have it. So I just subscribe to the website and at some stage there will be a resource coming in, I'd say. And I give it a couple of months and if it doesn't then I just unsubscribe. So that's a quick look at um, web feeds as I'm using it in the web-based uh, web um, newsreader called Bloglines.